Hi, my name is Rima Gary and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Cupid. Kindred started out as a student publication and it was part of our MA magazine journalism course um, that we started in October 2021. first assignment that we had to do is um, come up with a magazine pitch idea and get split into two teams and kind of compete against each other. We had one week to come up with an idea. So I remember we met up at a cafe um, in Kingston and uh, we started to think of some cool things, cool names that we can um, use and cool visions and <laughs> ideas. And, um, and we started to do a bit of market research as well and try to see what people were leaning towards. And the one thing that was the most important between all of us was um, to do something that focused on identity because all of us came from from different backgrounds um, and all of us had a similar idea of, of wanting to see kind of representation for people like us um, that we don't get to see often and um, to see it in a very positive and and light-hearted way and not so much as um, as a sob story um, and that became kind of the main idea and theme for kindred the importance of identity and the sort of closeness of the idea of identity to the Kindred brand really did emerge during our first sort of brainstorms of what we wanted Kindred to be and what it's now become. Um, really, this was because we wanted to focus in on people and tell their stories. And I don't think we could really do that without getting down to the like nitty gritty and sort of figuring out why they are who they are and why they do what they do. We came into the classroom, we're all feeling in a, in a good mood. Um, first group went up and started presenting um, and uh, we're like, okay, you know what, their idea is, is good and everything, but we're like, we still, we, we've got this, like we know what, what Kindred's about. Went and we presented <laughs> and then our lecturer goes, um, and says, okay, we're, I'm going to come back in like half an hour and come back with the decision of which magazine we're going to go for. Um, and then he comes in, he's like, okay, I've made my decision and we're not going to go with Kindred, <laughs> we're going to go with the other group. Um, and you can just see my group's faces all just drop. We were heartbroken that it wasn't chosen as the magazine that we were going to be doing for the year. So despite the fact that it wasn't my group that was chosen, I still d decided to run for editor. Mm -hmm. And when I got the editor role, um, I, I was like, I have to respect the other group's vision, but also try to incorporate some of Kindred's vision into it so that we have something that's kind of in the middle that still has that, you know, celebration of identity and has the cool aesthetics that we were going for, but still respecting the, the main theme of, of the other magazine. We had to represent a couple of weeks later um, to an, an outside visitor um, and that person came and we presented the, the new um, magazine idea that was kind of a mixture between Kindred and the other magazine. And he started describing what he's looking for in a magazine. I just remember me looking at Baba, who was uh, the deputy editor at the time, um, and both of us kind of silently agreeing that everything this person is saying, literally everything this person is saying, is exactly describing what Kindred is. <laughs> so um, we ended up presenting our initial idea with Kindred and our lecturer had to go away and say that, okay, now he has to th rethink it and he's going to come back to us and emailed us a couple of days later and was like, okay, you know what, I've um, uh, reviewed my decision um, and I'm going to go with Kindred. Um, and we all kind of then settled and agreed Kindred is, is the choice that we're all happy to go with. Um, and that's how we started. The theme comes from very diverse backgrounds. So one thing that was very important for us was to be diverse. Um, and not just in terms of checking boxes, uh, how often mainstream media does. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we really highlight the person for who they are and what they do and not just what box they check. So once Kindred had been selected as the magazine that we were going to create and develop over the course of the year, we 
decided to make a conscious effort as a team to incorporate elements of the other pitch into the Kindred that we have now. And I think because of that, we were able to, to pull from the interests of the other group. And even though parts of the team that we have now weren't part of the initial group that created, that came up with Kindred, because of the elements that of their interests that we included, their passion for the magazine is just as strong as those who were in that initial group. Not only are we a physically diverse team, but we have different interests and personalities and we're kind of a motley crew of people, yet we blend together so well that it just works. And that's why we're so strong as a team and why Kindred has been able to be so strong because we allowed everybody's own personality, their own identity to shine. Mm -hmm.